You're watching 10 WWE stars who are assholes in real life. It'll be an amazement to hear that some of your favorite wrestlers are totally jerks in real life. Some are fan favorites, and some have their names sang by millions of people. Others are hated heels, but admired for their skills in the ring. The majority develop large egos acting like real assholes. Number 10, Brock Lesnar. At least he's honest about who he is. Lesnar has frequently said he's not a good person, and actually has a distaste for people in general. In an interview with ESPN and the magazine, Lesnar was clearly saying, I don't like gays. Write down in your little handbook, I don't like gays. You won't see him waving to fans, and he also doesn't talk to anybody at the WWE events, except to those he's straight working with. Number 9, Batista. Batista rose to fame fast in the WWE, but developed a huge ego along the way. Once he got himself into a real fight with Booker T, which Booker won, Batista's relationship with the fans have never been overly strong either. While walking up the ramp during the 2014 Royal Rumble pay-per-view, one fan flashed his middle finger at Batista, who responded by telling him he'd snap him in half. Greedy sucker and thinks he's the greatest man in the planet. He calls himself a real man, but he is arrogant and full of himself. Number 8, CM Punk. Punk is a self-admitted jerk, but again, at least he admits it. Many WWE employees dreaded working with Punk, as he will not pause to tell people off. One might say Punk was a lovable jerk, given that he was so talented in the ring despite all he said about the industry. Many fans are still digging for him, but his habits make him a real-time asshole. Number 7, Goldberg. No uncertainty a big star in WWE, but the man also possessed a great ego that dictated his career almost from the beginning. Goldberg was probably pushed too quickly by winning his first 173 fights, but in 2003 he joined the WWE, and during his first week, Goldberg got into a real-life fight in backstage and supposedly lost. Goldberg's ego never lessened, which is most likely the reason why his WWE career didn't shine as bright as it could have. Number 6, Randy Orton. His jerk streak came in front in the late 1990s when he was discharged on a short-lived period in the US Marine Corps for bad behavior. He even spent time in prison for this misbehavior. His attitude hasn't been better since becoming a professional wrestler either. In 2007, he was sent home from a European tour after wasting his hotel room. On top of everything else, Orton has also been suspended many times for not following the wellness policy. Number 5, Ric Flair. One of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and one of the largest show-offs too. For a long time, he had a status of being impolite to fans. He's had many clashes with the law, including road rage incident in 1995 and an unpaid bill stopping him from a big divorce in more recent times. In an autobiography released in 2004, he aimed at some wrestlers. Number 4, Triple H. Triple H has made a lot of enemies over the last 20 years. He's one of the most successful wrestlers of all time. He was married to the boss's daughter like a perfect asshole. Many say Triple H refused to put wrestlers over in his younger years in fear of ruining his image. As his power grew, he would harm wrestlers he observed as a threat in his position for the WWE. Number 3, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan proved himself as the biggest wrestling superstar in the world. He was paid huge amounts of money, greater than anyone else in the WWE. It led to strained relationships with most colleagues throughout his career, and several superstars have happily spoken of their distaste for the man. Number 2, Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon once said, It takes a real son of a bitch to be successful in this business. He's been tangled in several real fights with his superstars. About 20 years ago, he was charged with illegally dispensing steroids to wrestlers, although he was proven innocent by his jury. And finally, number one, Sable. If you want to hear some spicy stories about Sable's attitude glitches while she was with the WWE, have a listen to Jim Cornette's various interviews. Perhaps it was a case of a star buying into her own hype, but Sable was not well liked by her superiors due to an overstated ego. At one point, it was said that Sable viewed herself to be as big as a star as Stone Cold. And that wraps it up for 10 WWE stars who are assholes in real life. My name has been Games Done Right, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out a couple more recommended videos. Thank you, and have yourselves a great day.